Hello, well here's another design spark quickie, if we pardon the expression. It really is very basic, it's just simply how to move the thing around on the screen, like so, and that kind of thing, etc. So, let's get into it now. Right, I'll demonstrate these operations on a part I made earlier, which is this part here, which you can hardly see. So to get this in the middle of the picture, we'll first demonstrate the home key. Now you can either select it from over here, top left hand side, this little orient panel, click that and click the home key here. Or you can simply press the edge key on the keyboard, which I'm going to do now, and that's it homed. Now to rotate the object, in the screen there are some special ways of placing the mouse pointer before you start the motion. Now if you place the mouse pointer uh, quite away from the part, it, like over in the corners here, you know, a good distance from the main body, the rotation point will appear inside the body of the part, which in this case, because of the legs, appears slightly outside the main body so I'm going to down, be down here in the bottom right hand corner and press the scroll wheel which is the third button on my mouse I'm going to press it now and you can see the rotate icon has appeared somewhere just below the main body of the part now if I move the scroll wheel it starts to rotate about that point now this will happen anywhere you click the third wheel, the third button, on the screen. Top left hand corner, that's the same thing. Now, even there. Now if you start to get close to the body of the part, it then jumps to the nearest part to rotate around. So it's done that there now. So if we wanted to rotate it about the end of this leg, we'll approach the end of the leg with the mouse pointer, press the third button or scroll wheel, and now we can rotate the whole thing about the end of that leg. And if we did the same with over here, press the scroll wheel, and now we'll rotate about that point. If we want to look at this end, same thing. Or that end of that leg, we can rotate that. Just press the edge key, everything comes back nicely. So that's more or less what you can do with the rotate and how that operates. Now there's also a pan, a way of panning. Is press the scroll wheel or third button again, but while you do this, you must press the shift key. And the curly icon, which is the rotate icon, like you can see that like curved icon there. This time, if you press the shift key, key and press the third button, it becomes a pan button, a pan icon. So you can rotate it up. You can pan it backwards and forwards, up and down, anywhere. Now that seems to happen the same, no matter where you click it in the picture. Suppose you wanted to move it right off to the right hand side you would click of course over on the left hand side and then you can move it off like that so that's that now the other thing you can do with the scroll wheel is to magnify or contract it in other words make it move away in the distance or right up close so if I move the scroll wheel away from me away it goes into the distance roll it back to me and it expands. Now depending on where you place the cursor before you move the scroll wheel determines how it moves away. So if you put it right in the middle of the part and move it, it goes away right in the middle and back again. If you're well away from the part, like down here at the bottom, do the same thing. It's going to approach the button like so. 
and back again and if it was over here I would approach the mouse pointer so if you want to put something away in the distance over in the corner we would bring it back and pan it down scroll it away over there it comes back H button now then over here in the orient panel there is other ways of moving it to set position so you've got the top bottom left right front back and home so the top gets you that view where you're looking at the, the bends of the wires and the bottom turns it over and now you can look at the ends of the, the legs there left and not right not much difference between left and right only that you can now see this color on this end front we can see the split lines for the colors etc and back just turns it round and the home button so there's a very very basic tutorial on how to manipulate the object in the 3D window. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Bye.